it's probably like 11 o'clock here in Lyon. It's super like mellow, like Saturday morning. I just was actually walking up and down my street uh, looking for these women that I bought a crepe from yesterday afternoon. It was amazing. It was just sugar and butter and came. It was just fresh, super hot. I got like a little bit of cider. It was heaven. It's, like literally the best crepe I've ever had. And I really, really wanted to get one today. In fact, I was going to really pick out and order two of them. Another of the uh, sugar and butter and then a caramel but they weren't here today um, however on my street uh, Boulevard de Quarousse I think is what it was I can't remember if that's where I'm staying I think that's the street I'm on um, I change Airbnbs every like two days so sometimes addresses get a little mixed up in my head but I'm pretty sure that's where I'm staying I'll put the address in the comments below um, either way so you can figure it out but basically it seems like every day they have these little like kind of like food trucks basically that sit along the street and sell everything from like bread and pastries to like there's a mobile butcher uh, so you can get your meat out of these trucks there's a fromagerie, so you can get, you know, every kind of cheese imaginable there. It's just, it's honestly heaven. Like, I can see why Lyon is the capital of gastronomy here in France. Um, it's just, it's honestly heaven. I actually got a couple little things to cook again tonight because I have an early train ride in the morning and a lot of the restaurants I'm dying to eat at, I can't get reservations to at the last minute. So I figure I'm gonna just relax, you know, have a nice home-cooked meal again. Um, sometimes it's hard being on the road so much because I just eat at restaurants constantly. So for, you know, most people I know eating out would be like a luxury, especially as you're traveling. But for me right now, it just feels like more of a luxury going to the market and picking out my produce and cheese and, you know, meat, and then getting to go home and cook with a nice glass of wine. Um, so that's my plan for later. I just dropped off my groceries and I'm walking to Old Town for a little bit to explore there. And then I'm going to hopefully, depending on how far it is, go to this famous food hall that is really well known. Um, however, I looked at the reviews last night and People are kind of mixed in the reviews. Some people say it's nice, other people say it's kind of a mess and just not that impressive. So I'm a little like up in the air on it, but I think if it's close by, I'll probably swing by. There's also a lot of Roman ruins here in Lyon. So um, that's my other plan for today is to swing by and see as many of those as I can. Um, the nice thing about those is they're free entry. So something nice to do in Lyon that's free. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my rough plan for today. It's not like too cold, which is nice. The winds died down. Um, my voice is still a little low. I'm like definitely like not feeling like 100%, but it's my only day here to like really explore, so I'm just gonna go for it and hydrate and eat and all of the things. It'll be fine. I'll sleep when I'm on the plane in another two days, but until then, I'm going to just make the most of my time at the and go on to this place. Here we go! archaeological garden of St. John. Um, parts of this date back to the 4th century which is really cool. Um, it's a super easy thing to just kind of walk up and see. You can like you can tell there's people in it. You can kind of just walk in. It's not a big deal. Um, it's not something I'd probably go out of my way to see. It's definitely cool though if you're in the area. So I'm gonna check it out.
so after a lot of steps, um, I have gotten up to the Silver Tower, which is famous here in Lyon because it looks like a miniature version of the Eiffel Tower. The cool thing is it actually was erected uh, three years before the Eiffel Tower in 1914 and it was uh, made by the people at the university here, the University of Lyon. And apparently not only did it have an elevator that could take up to 20 people up to the top, it also had a restaurant. Unfortunately, those features don't seem to exist today. Most people aren't even walking back here to look at it. Um, there's a really cool lookout just kind of that direction. So pretty much everybody who's tracked up this, you know, massive hill and steps you've got to get to, like, go through basically to get up here because it's elevated. They're all just stopping at the outlook. Like, nobody's paying attention to this little, like, tower behind me. Um, so, I mean, it's cool. Like, I think it's worth, like, checking out. Especially that it, like, predates the Eiffel Tower, but people around here don't seem to care. Um, so I'm just wandering around now up here for a little bit. Behind me is like a really gorgeous cathedral. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. I'll have to figure that out next. But so far, I've got to say it's definitely worth all of the steps it takes to get up to this like elevated part of town. Let's see what we find next. After today, I've officially 100% fallen in love with Lyon. Um, I cannot wait to come back. I really, between being a little bit sick and jet lagged and just only having like two days here, I didn't get to see everything because it's such a big city. I'm dying to come back, uh, hopefully in like the summer or the fall when it's a little bit warmer. I just think the vibe's gonna be even better. Not that it wasn't like amazing this time. Mm -hmm. 